Today, we're looking at a story about a girl who says that she was a famous singer and nobody knew about it. So we're gonna react to this today and see if it's real or if it's fake. But first, let's meet her. Hi, my name is Sasha. Hi, Sasha. And I'm a popular singer with okay. the wealthiest parents in town. Selling out concerts weekly and dealing with fans around the world might sound fun, but- That actually sounds extremely fun. You literally look like you're living Taylor Swift's life. So already early on, I think a lot of us are jealous. But you know what's even cooler? What? Partying all night wow. long. Okay. In the middle of my show, I escaped with my boyfriend, Theo, to go- So, I mean, basically, it sounds like this girl's living the dream life right now. Freaking famous, rich, partying all night, dream boyfriend, driving a freaking Lamborghini. Go to the biggest island party ever. But when he pulled over to a helicopter pad, my- It is a Lamborghini. Wow, I could tell by the interior of a drawing. I know cars too well. Excitement turned to panic. I thought we were going to use a yacht. You know I have a phobia of heights, right? It's a five minute ride. Ah, uh, dude, I'm with her. I straight up hate helicopters. Once Kobe crashed, rest in peace, I cannot stand. I, helicopters freak me out, dude. Anyone can go in it and I just don't like it. You're just being melodramatic. Get over it. Get over it? Enjoy the party without this drama queen then. Yeah. Babe, come on. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I just ignored him and stormed off. I walked back to the city. I noticed a person in a hooded jacket following me. Creepy. I grabbed my stiletto and yelled at him. Why are you hiding, dude? Are you Bro, your stilettos are two giant swords. Those are like weapons from Elden Ring. What the crap? I don't bite. To my surprise, he just threw a magazine at me and ran away. What, what the chocolate fudge? What the chocolate fudge? What the chocolate fudge? Can someone please like just start commenting this in my videos and never to explain what that means? Just do it. I picked it up and realized that it was my magazine with a death threat drawn all over my face. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie. This is actually relatable to me because I had someone do this to me once and it was really creepy. And I like, don't do this. All right, don't. Unfortunately for him, I was fearless. The threats kept coming over the weekend. My parents had always wanted to hire a bodyguard for me, but I didn't want some boring old guy to keep following me around. When I finally saw my bodyguard, I almost passed out. He was the most exquisite specimen of a man I had ever seen. I mean, honestly, I feel like this girl has a boyfriend. She shouldn't be saying that. Am I wrong? Or did they break up? And he looked just a few years older than me. Hey, handsome. Are you sure you're a bodyguard and not my next boyfriend? Yeah, no one's ever like acted like this to me. Does this mean I'm ugly? Like, I'm a little insecure about this one. Hey, yo, no one's doing this to me. To my surprise, he didn't smile a bit. Rude, you look too young for this job. How can I trust you? Suddenly, a ball from our neighbor came hurling right at me, and he instantly caught it with- Bro, I did this once in high school. It was like the sickest thing ever. We were in like health class. Someone like threw a ball at me, and I was like, Poof. remember that day? One hand, trust me. I'm really good at my job. You can check my records. Your father has everything you need. Yeah, okay, whatever. Let's go. He opened the car door for me, and as I slipped in, I accidentally brushed my shoulder on his chest. Bro, that's, that's gotta be one of the weirdest animations we've ever seen on this channel, but I'm here and for it. Oh my, oh, okay, okay. it felt harder than a rock. You know what, no one's saying that to me either. <gasps> All right, mine's not harder than a rock though. Cool. Theo didn't look so happy to see me with my young bodyguard. Probably not. He pulled me aside and said, Look, babe, I know I insulted you the other night, but getting back at me by flirting with oh, another no. guy? How could you? He's my freaking bodyguard. And now you're accusing me of cheating? Yeah. Suddenly, Damon stepped in. Is there a problem here? Oh. Stay out of this, man. Theo tried to push him aside, oh, but no. Damon pounced on him and pinned him to the ground. Oh. What the oh. heck are you doing? Let go of me, idiot. <laughs> hey, stop it. Damon wow. finally released my boyfriend after a minute. As expected, Theo went psycho. Bro, do you know how that would feel to get wound by your girlfriend's bodyguard? I immediately blocked him before he got his butt kicked by Damon. That's enough, Theo. He's just doing his job. Why do you need a bodyguard when you have me? I'm your boyfriend. I'll protect <laughs> oh, no. you. A small spider suddenly landed on his Ooh, shoulder, oh, that's me. and he ran screaming. Girls were literally drooling all over him. Yep, that never happened to me. He looks more like a model than a bodyguard. Wow. He can be the father of my children. He's way oh more God. attractive than Theo. Oh, I no. I really want to feel his biceps. Freaking thirsty girls at this high school. What's going on? These girls sounded so desperate, but they were right. When I reached our classroom, my best friend... <laughs> <laughs> These girls were so desperate, but they're right. Tessa came up to me with my favorite coffee. Hey, girl, so I brought you your... Damon suddenly snatched it and started <laughs> sniffing it. He then took a sip what? and waited for a few seconds no. before saying, clear. As he gave it back to me, Tessa was glaring at him. Excuse me, did you really think that I'll poison my best friend? Just doing my job. Tessa then dragged me to a corner. So you're giving up your privacy just like that? I can see that he's very attractive, but something about him screams bad news. 
He even sounds like a demon. She's right. Demon and demon sound the same. That's creepy. I have to get rid of him. ASAP. Hmm. Oh, come on, girl. It's just his first day. Let's see. But Tessa was right. I didn't have a second of privacy. Damon followed me around every freaking second. He stood behind me in all- I mean, isn't that like his job? Like, isn't that literally the purpose of a bodyguard? Like, if he's not following you around, what's he doing? At home, he'd just stand outside my door, and I never saw him sleep. And worse, <laughs> he had this permanent ice-cold expression on his face that gave me chills. I had a recording event one night, and when I reached the studio, a guy came rushing toward <gasps> me. He was about to draw Pop out him. something from his back pocket, when suddenly, Damon grabbed his arm and twisted it. Drop your weapon. W what? I, I just wanted an autograph from her, man. Oh, Damon, a little bit too aggressive there, my guy. Maybe try to back it up a little bit, maybe. I'm a popular singer, so you have to get used to my fans. Just doing my job. Calm down, Sasha. Oh. Calm down. The next day at school, Theo kept following me around to apologize, but I still ignored him until he said, What is that? Why is that like a bee bear? Like, that's the weirdest looking thing, dude. My producer cousin is throwing an exclusive yacht party with some A-listers this weekend. She's a fan of yours, and she'd be ecstatic if you came. Yeah. He had my attention now. Parties were my weakness. Theo requested not to bring Damon to our date tomorrow. Uh-oh. So I talked to him in private. Uh -oh. My job is not to leave your side for a minute. So sorry can't do. He was so firm about this, so I finally gave up and let him come with us. We went to a private movie theater and watched a super sad movie together. Oh. Minutes into the movie, Theo and I were already crying our hearts. Minutes in? You couldn't have even gotten past the commercials at that point. Out, ...while Damon had no reaction at all. Me? What was he, a robot? After the movie, we went to a fancy restaurant and I was having a good time with the lobster until Theo started forcing himself on me. Whoa! Just one kiss, babe. Now, Theo, we're in a public place and people are staring, but he was persistent. Just then, Damon grabbed him and threw him away like a piece of paper. Theo Dang. was furious. Your stupid bodyguard started it. Why don't you tell him to get a life and go home to his mommy? No, Theo, you go home. I immediately called him a cab, and when he was fine- Whoa, 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 You called him a cab? I'm sorry, is this 1990? Are we not using Ubers anymore? You don't have to interfere every freaking second. He was disrespecting your personal space. Your job is to keep me safe, not to meddle in my personal matters. Know your boundaries. Apologies. It will never happen again. But Damon always being around was just getting on my nerves. A few days later at a concert, I was performing my newest single. How are you? I'm sorry. How are you just in high school casually and also like a famous singer? Like, how is this? How? How? And everyone was singing along with me. It felt amazing. Some of them even started climbing up on the stage to join me. Suddenly, Damon jumped in and pushed them off stage. What in the world? He then lifted me and carried me to the backstage in the middle of my freaking performance. I complained to my parents about his behavior but they praised him for it. Bro, that ain't right. He's ruining my- She went to his parents? I'm sorry, that's weird. Career, and even my personal life. He's just doing his job, honey, and that's to make sure you're safe all the time. This is weird. I feel like you have to have some say in it if you're the famous musician. Like, how could you not have any say in this? This is like Britney Spears kind of conspiracy level now. I resorted to Tessa instead, and oh. she came up with a plan. Test his patience, annoy him, do everything you can to make him quit. Okay. You're good okay. at that, you gorgeous brat. I love the sound of it, girl. You're the best. Of course I am. I stayed up at 4 a.m. that night to okay. disturb Damon in the sleep, but to my surprise, he was already up. I need you to get my favorite Starbucks coffee. That's not part of my job description. Do it, or I'll make your job harder. Oh, okay, okay. I see a little bit of confidence coming in here, a little bit of that pop star swag. Fine. What's oh. your order? All right, never mind. <gasps> One iced venti caramel macchiato with six shots of mocha, one quarter not that milk, one eighth almond milk with medium whipped cream, and a caramel drizzle with a rose design on top. In a bio Why do they actually make what? Creatable takeaway cup with a pink straw. Got it. What? I was just messing with him, but to my surprise, he immediately left. Wow. And holy mother of toads, he came back. Holy mother of toads. Back with my exact order. How? Anything else? Uh, that That's all for now. When we. God, that made me feel weird. Got home. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, I've. I feel uncomfortable, but saw a box we'll sitting on my bed, and when I opened it, lots of rats jumped out and started running all over the room. Damon saw a little note inside, and for the first time ever, it scared me. For real. 
Someone broke into your room. <gasps> what if Damon is the stalker? This person means business. We have to be more careful, ma'am. He suggested that I shouldn't go to school for the next few days for safety. Wow. And I agreed. One night, my- Yo, I think Damon is the one doing this. I am actually pretty sure that's the case. He is a creepy stalker and wants her. Manager called and reminded me of my concert in Paris the next day. It was my biggest one yet, and I had to go. I don't think you should be making public appearances till we find out who's trying to hurt you. No, I'm not gonna let some creep scare me and make me decide what I should do. That's smart. This was planned in advance, and all the tickets are sold, and I'm not canceling. Okay. Damon was forced to allow me, but on one condition. We had to share a hotel room. I told you, this guy is the one planning it. This guy's a genius. Keep a constant eye on me. He has when to be. When we were finally in Paris, I rehearsed my songs all night while he was constantly looking out the window. The next morning, I found him still asleep on the couch <gasps> when something on the floor caught my attention. A picture of a beautiful girl in his wallet. Okay, well, that's definitely a plot twist. It's not you, okay? Wallet. During my concert, I tried not to think of Damon and the death threats, and it was going so well. In the middle of my performance, I saw Damon in the crowd, and he was smiling at me. He looked so lovely. This is so confusing. No, snap out of it, Sasha. He has a girlfriend. While I was singing my fourth song... What if that's like his sister? I suddenly spotted a hooded figure in the crowd, and he was aiming something at me. No, no, no. I froze in panic, but just then a strong pair of arms what? grabbed me and carried me off the stage, and I looked up to see- Someone's trying to assassinate you? You mean I'm- you, Hold on, you, are you trying to tell me that I've been wrong the whole time about Damon? There's actually someone trying to murder you this whole time? Like, is this, like, happening? Like, what? Damon's tense face. Stay here. Don't move. He returned a few minutes later, saying he'd lost the hooded figure. I was still shaking in fear and he gently picked me up and we returned to the hotel. He tucked me into bed and sat on a chair close by. I closed my eyes and tried to sleep, feeling safe as he watched over me. When I woke up the next morning, I peeked into the kitchen and smiled when I saw him dancing while cooking our breakfast. It was the first time I saw him looking so human. I felt shy when he turned to me. I didn't have any makeup on. That's the first time I've seen you without makeup, and you look even more beautiful than usual. Now I think he's the one that's setting it up again. Bro, I don't know anything. Is complimenting me part of your job now? Maybe. I knew it. No one can ever resist my charms, not even my emotionless bodyguard. I wonder what your girlfriend would say about this. Oh, she's not my girlfriend. I assume you're talking about the picture of the girl in my wallet. Gosh, was he actually awake that time? He revealed that it was his sister. I know all. I know all. I am all-knowing, omnipotent lover fella. And they grew up in the orphanage together. He Let's go! lost her because he'd failed to protect her. Oh. And that's why he became a bodyguard. Wow. She'd always wanted to go to Paris and go up the Eiffel Tower. I suddenly felt brave. Let's go there then. For her. After what happened yesterday, there's no way I'm allowing you to go anywhere. Also, I know from your file that you're afraid of heights. I'm not scared when I have you around. I'll be fine, I promise. He finally agreed, but later as we were climbing onto the escalator at the Eiffel Tower- Can you just casually go to the Eiffel Tower? Like, imagine just being at a point in your life where you're like, yo, let's go to the Eiffel Tower. When we reached the top, I squealed and covered my eyes. You made it to the top. You have to see this view now. I... I don't know if I can. How about you take a look and we'll go down? But I don't want you to miss this, Sasha. God, I feel like something like really romantical is about to happen and I just feel like there's a weird vibe between these two, like a weird chemistry thing. Trust me? Y yes. Yes, I do. Okay then. Open, Open your, your eyes, eyes when, when I, I say, say so. so. I kept my eyes shut as he led me forward. And then suddenly, I felt his arms wrap around my waist. Now. I opened my eyes and I gasped. <sighs> I was so close to the edge. Hey, yo, that's just like a bunch of spaghetti noodles. The whole glittering city was in front of me. Nah, it's just spaghetti. A little bit of lasagna. I'd never- A little parmesan. I felt safer in my life. Damon? Yes? Have you ever fallen for a client? My smile instantly faded at his answer. No, it would never happen. I can't do my job well if I'm emotionally involved. So, it was just me who was feeling this. He was just being nice to his client. After a week, I had- Oh, they didn't kiss, huh? Wow, I'd actually- I'm shocked. Back to school for the final exams. I looked for Tessa so we could study together in the library, but I couldn't find her. I sat down to study alone and let Damon stand by the door so I could focus. Minutes later, he barged in and yelled, Sasha, look out. To my horror, the huge bookshelf behind me began to fall on me, but Damon leapt forward and pushed me out of harm's way, and it fell on him. 
He was in the hospital for a week, what? and despite my parents' protests <laughs> that I needed to stay safe at home, what? I insisted on visiting him every day. One oh day, God. while I was in the waiting area, Tessa came to see me with my favorite coffee, but before I could take a sip, a hand suddenly slapped the cup away. We turned to see Damon and a cop beside him. What? He suddenly put handcuffs on Tessa. No! No! Damon, w what's happening? Suddenly, he revealed something that blew my mind. Tessa was the one who'd pushed the bookshelf on me. I'd been keeping an eye on her and studying her. That no day, way. I saw her enter the library from the back door, and I knew she was up to no good. I'm sure your coffee is poisoned too. My best friend was trying to hurt me? Tessa? Ain't no way. This, I, I, I have so many theories, and you're telling me that I was so wrong on all of them by like a million miles? There's no way. Hi. And suddenly, Tessa turned into a monster because I hate you. You have everything I've ever wanted. Beauty, talent, fame, wealth, Theo. Life is so unfair. I would have gotten rid of you already if your stupid bodyguard wasn't such a pain. She screamed as the cop dragged her what? away and I was left speechless. Damon then pulled me into a hug. Are you okay? <gasps> I'll be fine. How are you? I'm okay, but I can't be your bodyguard anymore, Sasha. I just can't fight my feelings oh for my you God. anymore. And it's Everything wrong. I said is wrong. Wrong. If I fire I you right this. now, will you be my boyfriend instead? Without a word, he grabbed my face and finally kissed me on the lips. I took that as a yes. Honestly, I've never been so wrong before in a prediction on one of these videos. If you want to see another one of these though, click here and please subscribe. Peace. <laughs>